Hey everybody, um, it's Ray. It is, oh god, what's the date today? April, it's Wednesday. Anyway, um, I haven't updated in a while and uh, mostly just because I've kind of had, last weekend was okay, the weekend after I started tea was kind of emotional with my parents and um, like I was debating whether to tell my parents or not and uh, what, like about starting tea but I figure you know they're gonna notice in the next couple months anyway so I might as well tell them and even though I told them um, last fall that I was trans uh, they it, like it didn't become real for them until I started on tea so um, my mom was really difficult when I first told her she you know said well what do you want me to say and it, it was just difficult um, the biggest problem, as I mentioned in one of the, the previous videos, is that um, she won't call me by my name or use my proper pronoun. So I ended up sending her an email and I said, you know, I understand everything you're going through and, you know, not from a parent's point of view, but I understand that it's difficult. And I said that even though it's difficult, it's no reason to not respect um, certain things. So... Um, I said, you know, and that really means my name and pronoun. She's still using my second name, well, my third name, Lee, um, because Ray's just too weird for her because that's my dad's name, uh, which is understandable. I mean, as long as she's, she's not calling me my birth name, then that's cool. Um, I also came out, um, like everybody at work knows, it's kind of a small plant. Everybody's been wonderful. Um, uh, and one of the guys that I work kind of close with, he... Um, because people don't really understand the use of gender neutral pronouns, I said male pronouns would be appropriate. And uh, the guy that I work with was using male pronouns last week, but this week he kind of stopped. And when he referred to me as she, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to pinch you every time you call me she. And he's like, well, you, you still have a female voice and you still have female mannerisms, whether you like it or not. And I just looked at him and I'm like, that's not cool. And um, I was quiet for a long time and I end up talking to one of my other managers, not to rat him out, but just like for a sounding board. And I said, you know, let me handle it. If he doesn't understand, then I will come to you. Um, so I just, I don't know, I'm not really assertive when it comes to myself. If it's with a friend or uh, whatever, I don't have a problem standing up and being like, you know. Um, but when it comes to me, I have a big problem with that. It was weird, like I just finished crying. and. I walked right up to him and I'm like, we need to talk. You know, I understand we kind of have a sarcastic back and forth kind of friendship, but this is not something that should be joked about. Um, I know I don't pass and that bothers me greatly. And because he knows, even if he doesn't understand it, he at least should respect it. And, um, you know, he felt really bad and he apologized and he said, you know, um, I thought it would just roll off your back, and I'm like, well, normally it would, but this just hits too close to home. It's way too personal. I just, I really need you to understand that my brain is not female, um, and being referred to as female is kind of a slap in the face. Anyways, everything's okay now. Um, you know, people are still kind of calling me she. I, I've noticed that they just use my name a lot more. Um, but they're not doing it disrespectfully, it's just, you know, they forget, which is, you know, it's understandable. Um, as well, yesterday, I want to show you guys this, but, uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna put my finger over my, like, last name, but this is my new birth certificate. It's from Alberta. Isn't that, like, the me most messed up thing you've ever seen? It's, like, clear right here, and, where is it? Like, right there, and it's got, like, a barcode, and it's weird. Um, but one of the reasons why I'm updating is I'm off to get my new ID, uh, cause I still have an Alberta license and I need to get it switched over to BC and, um, then I can get my passport so I can go to Transmart to Minnesota in June. Um, other than that, I've, well, I've taken my second shot. Um, I've been noticing that, like, there's not really much physical to report it, except for I'm getting hot flashes, and it's really kind of freaking me out. Um, 
I understand that happens to a lot of guys, and the first little bit, I'm not really sure if this happens to anybody else, so if anybody's watching this that's on testosterone and this happened to you, please let me know so I know I'm not alone, but the first week, whenever I was sick or something, but I felt like I had to throw up all the time, and I went across the street to the bakery um, across the street from where I work, and literally, as soon as I walked in there, I had to throw up, like, I had to go to the bathroom and throw up. And I'm pucophobic, so it was really kind of strange for me. I notice when I start new medication and whatnot, though, it, uh, I seem to be a little sensitive to stuff, and it just kind of makes um, my stomach upset, so it's not happening this week, so I'm not really sure, but, um, other than that, I haven't really noticed anything, but I mean, if it's been two shots, it's been like a week and a half. Um... What else is going on? Oh, I got a bike. It's purple and it's fabulous. Oh, let me show you guys. Hang on. This is kind of awkward because it's my uh, computer. <laughs> let me turn on the light here. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Um, yeah, I got it this weekend and um, I just bought it for a guy, from a guy and went to OCB, our community bikes here in Vancouver and spent about eight hours fixing it up, just making sure it was safe to ride. And I think I'm a little bit addicted. I like fixing things. <laughs> but um, yeah, s almost seven minutes, so I'm gonna jet. I really have to go and do some errands, but um, thanks for subscribing everybody I have almost 40 subscribers and that's really amazing um, I wanted to send out a note to everybody to say hey thanks for subscribing to my videos but I keep on forgetting so I really appreciate everybody watching and if you have like any feedback or um, you know this is kind of a personal thing I just you know want to talk about whatever but um, I really like hearing the comments and <sighs> It's nice, even though I have support here, it's really nice to know people are going through the same thing. So, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to go.